For a typical high school student, collecting service hours is a must for making those college applications and workforce resumes look good. National Honor Society, a program available for junior and senior honor students, is one way in which many of them accomplish this goal. Adam Hartman and Stephen Carter, sponsors of NHS at Canyon City High School, explain to the Canyon Current their goals as they enter into their second year of sponsoring NHS. So I think, I think last year was kind of a focus of us uh, getting our feet under the ground and kind of figuring out the program and then using last year's ex experience to adapt and change. Uh, one of the main focuses then, something that Adam said about the idea of service uh, in the community, and it's more of an emphasis on not, not doing service hours, hours and completing service just for the benefit of the student to get the hours done, right. but truly learning and developing a philosophy of giving back to community. The idea of students com completing service at the NHS high school level is that hopefully they will develop into an adult who then joins other service organizations such as Rotary, Lions Club, okay, Kiwanis, etc. And they, again, have a true sense of what it means to be selfless instead of selfishly uh, com completing hours. And our number of hours compiled total last year was way beyond our minimum expectation. And what our hope is, is that by doing that, that you have not only a big number, but really true opportunities to do something that's, that's meaningful. Yes, we are raking leaves, but then when you have an elderly person come out of their front, front door and in tears, you know, tell these kids, we didn't have anybody to clean up my, my yard, my husband died a year ago, that emotional re re response then creates kind of an, an, an affective need and desire to help mm -hmm. other people, and it grows. And so, the, you know, the seeds are planted, and we want to, con to continue to foster that and grow that throughout this year. Mr. Carter did mention the leaf raking project. That was a big success, and I would, I would probably think that that one will be on the calendar again. Um, we, we received a lot of feedback from community members saying, boy, this was really valuable. And that alone, I think, probably propels us to want to do that again. In regards to other ones, and you did mention CASA, um, organizations are going to be approaching NHS this year about could you do this with us or on our behalf. We're going to let the General Assembly of NHS make decisions as to who they want to most aid. So we can't speak to which the projects will be because we're going to try to give more ownership. Okay. And one of the things we talked about at the end of last year is that NHS become involved in the Hogbacks Restoration Project and we adopt that so that we can provide the service and the labor uh, again for native plant restoration, trail restoration, and that type of work. And that'd be kind of, or th th that become kind of an underlying theme and project for us this year. But again, we want student input and we want students to kind of direct uh, what we do this year. Uh, I used to coach and the thing that was great about, about coaching is that you have another re relationship outside the classroom that is a little more laid back, a little more sociable, you know, uh, that type of thing. And so NHS provides that as well. Uh, because I teach Honors American Studies, I have many of these NHS kids in my classroom. So there's an academic expectation there. Uh, but the involvement in NHS, again, is more social. Uh, so we can get out and do service learning projects, go rake leaves, go clean up a park maybe do a ski trip this, this year. And it's just a different side of a relationship that is more laid back, fun, fun, fun centered. Uh, and that's, that's one of my so enjoyments. Far. Yeah, I, mine is similar in that I work with a population of kids, many of whom are in NHS. So it's really nice to do something that's not just school based, it's not just programming classes and otherwise. Um, Um, when the NHS sponsorship vacancy came open, he came to me and said, how would you like to consider doing this together? And I jumped at it, not only because it was a good chance to work with those kids, but also to work with Mr. Carter. He's, he's bright, he's dedicated, and he has a, a real excitement about working with positive young people that's similar to what I have. So. Adam is one of the, uh, one of the more intelligent, uh, hardworking, dedicated uh, individuals, employees in the school district. Uh, we know we can re re rely on one another to get the job done. And uh, again, you know, it's, it's, it's fun for us. He was a teacher for a long time in the district. We were socially friends, but now we get to be working colleagues uh, together for the, for the first time. And that's a, that's a great joy when you get to work with your friends and people you, you respect. So. In addition to that, it's been, it's been really fun for me 
to be part of something that on its surface is just good. I mean, there, everything about it is positive. When you look at the four pillars, it's all positive to get into it. What we're asking of students is po has positive outcomes. So it's real, it's just, it, it gives you a good feeling. Yes, it can be rigorous for students. Yes, there is a time commitment and otherwise, but I really do think that the outcomes are all positive with NHS.